Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Merrick here, back with another daily chess puzzle video. This is day 400, and, I mean 232 of posting chess puzzles every day for a year. Um, we are way more than halfway done, so that's very exciting. Um, this one's black to move. Sorry. White just played queen takes e5, capturing this pawn, so it is black to move. Pause the video here, comment down below what you think the answer is, and I will be back in three seconds. Okay, so first things first, we should be looking for checks. Bishop b4 check is um, the one that stands out. Rook takes you one check as well. Um, all the other checks basically just lose on the spot. So rook takes you one check, rook takes you one. Bishop b4 check. Um, and if king e2, rook e8. And we are um, slightly better in this position, almost winning. After, let's say, queen takes e8 check, queen takes e8, and then king f1. But white can just play king f1, and we don't have this pin on the queen anymore, and we are just lost. So this is why we should play bishop b4 check first. Um, if the king goes to f1, there's queen d1 check, queen e1, and queen takes e1 checkmate. If otherwise, uh, white has to play rook takes b4, and now we have two choices. We can just play rook e8, pinning the queen, or you could play rook takes c1 check. Well, rook takes e1 check is the better choice. Since after rook takes e1 check, king e2, we can now just play rook e8. Since after rook takes h1, um, we are actually losing, getting mated. Since after rook b8 check, our only move is to play queen c8. After queen d6 check, king e8. And then queen e6 check, exploiting this pin. Pretty cool, right? King f1, I'm in king f8, and rook takes c8. White actually wins here. So we play rook e8 instead. White is forced to uh, either take on e8 or play rook b8 check. If rook b8 check, we block with rook c8 and white's queen is lost. So for example, rook takes c8 check, uh, let's say queen takes c8. Oh, sorry, this actually loses to rook d1 check. Um, there's so many ways to go around in this puzzle. King takes c8, queen takes c8 check, queen takes c8 check. And we should be winning after um, taking this pawn and uh, this endgame should be winning. Um, there might be some fortresses, but uh, it's unlikely. So, um, rook takes e1 check is better than rook e8. Well, I haven't demonstrated uh, why rook e8 doesn't work as well. Rook e8, um, rook b8 check, rook c8 is what um, black will play, but let's say white just plays rook takes c8 check, queen takes c8, um, or king takes c8, both work. And then white will just play queen takes e8 check, queen takes e8, and bishop e3. After, let's say, queen b5, uh, white can probably just manually castle. Um, oh, sorry, black is threatening queen b1 check. Um, white can just play something like king d2, bring the rook out, and white should have an easy draw with uh, their three pawns and the bishop as well as the rook. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle. Um, this puzzle had a bunch of variations that were pretty hard to calculate. So if you got this puzzle, congratulations. And I will see you in day 233. Have a wonderful day.